Hello everyone, this is Sis Kitchen. If today is your first time of visiting my channel, thank you and please stay with me till the end of the video and I know you will love it and become part of Sis Kitchen family. If you've been watching, you know I appreciate it a lot. Today, my recipe to share is shito or black chili sauce, which is a popular request from most of my friends. Let's get on with our ingredients. You've got red onions, white onions, British shallot onions, and garlic. Here with me, you've got sliced ginger and pepper. And there, tomato puree, our spices, we've got dried rosemary, curry powder, chicken stock, bay leaf, and maggi cubes. Our salt to taste, alligator pepper, which is a form visa in Ghana, grain of selling, which is fintia, and this seed, which is inkiti inkiti. We've got our powdered shrimp, dried chili, and dried fish powder. This stage, we are going to blend our onions, ginger, and pepper. In my saucepan, I have added adequate amount of sunflower oil and put it on a medium heat for about three minutes for the oil to warm up. I'm just going to add my blended vegetables to it and allow it for about 25 minutes to cook. I'm adding my spices this stage and my salt to taste. For the salt is for your own preference. I'm going to leave it for about 25 minutes to cook, for the water to evaporate and also for the spices to intensify the flavors. Whilst we've got our sauce on fire, we are going to grind our dried ingredients. We don't need water to grind it, so we are going to use the grinder. This is a mixture of our dried ingredients. I'm just going to add it to the sauce and then our dried chili. I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes. Then we add our tomato paste. Please remember to stay till it's well combined. This stage we are adding our tomato paste. I prefer using the tomato paste rather than the normal tomatoes because it cooks faster. Please remember to stir frequently. Mix everything together on a low heat for about 35 to 40 minutes. So we get the thick paste and also the oil settles on the top. As you can see, our chili sauce is now thicker and the oil is settling at the top, ensuring a perfect cook. Check out the color. Our chili sauce is almost done. On a low heat, we just leaving it on for about 10 minutes, but please remember to stay frequently. This stage, I'm adding my dried fish powder and also my dried shrimp. Remember to stay gently. As for the distinctive aroma there, hmm, that's a win. The day the papa. Remember to stir continuously. Hence, we will get a burnt shito, which will diminish the aroma. And we don't want a shito like that. So keep stirring frequently. As you can see, our shito is perfectly cooked. That's all I can say. And for the traditional condiments, hey, you can taste it. I'm just going to leave it for about 15 minutes so it can evaporate well and also get the authentic black shito color. Afterwards, we leave it to cool down, then we dish it out. Lovelies, this is the end product of our shito. As for the aroma, hmm, 
you can tell it's your sip. It's packed with distinctive flavors. Shito is like a side sauce, and it can go with banku, jollof rice, fish, and gari back in the old school days. And one tip for preservation, if you want to dish it out in a bottle like this, remember to leave it in a cool dry place and also leave enough oil on top of the shito for about one and a half centimeter each to prevent it from going off. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the cooking. And lots of people have been contacting me about where I've been getting my outfit from. I have put the contact details of my designers in the description below. So please check them out. Thank you and bye for now.